Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best fitness trackers. Starting at number 3. Garmin Vivoctiv 4. While it's one of the most stylish fitness trackers there is, the Garmin Vivoctiv 4's attributes are more than skin deep. That's because this device has excellent GPS, a heart rate monitor, sleep tracking, and an NFC chip, so you can use it for mobile payments. We also liked that the Vivoctiv 4 has on-screen animations for workouts including yoga, pilates, cardio and strength training exercises. It also has respiration tracking and a pulse oximeter for tracking blood oxygen saturation levels, as well as onboard music storage. Its estimated battery life of 7 days is also pretty good, but that will decrease the more you use GPS. The Garmin Vivoctiv 4 is a solid upgrade to the Vivoctiv 3 and 3 Music and will certainly please those in need of a mid-range multi-sport watch. It's not as flashy as the new Garmin Venue, but that might be a good thing, it has a more readable display and longer battery life. If you're interested, you won't be disappointed. Dot dot just be prepared to pay up. The Garmin Vivoctiv 4 is a more accurate fitness watch than the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2, and it has more advanced features than the Fitbit Versa 2. As stated, the Vivoctiv 4 doesn't really intend to compete in the smartwatch space. It's technically a smartwatch and can provide basic smartwatch functions, but it's limited in third-party app support and doesn't have a voice assistant. However, that's not why you buy a device in the Vivoctiv line. You buy it for the fitness features first and the smartwatch features second. In that sense, the Garmin Vivoctiv 4 is a fantastic fitness watch and will certainly impress Garmin's core fanbase. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Introducing Amazon Halo. Amazon Halo Band is a fitness, mood, and wellness tracker that can be a bit creepy, but may find its own niche with its unique spin on wearables and enterprise corporate wellness programs. I've been taking the Halo for a spin for more than two months and have now entered the obsessive quantified self-disorder zone. I'm wearing my usual Garmin Fenix 6 on the left hand and Halo Band on the right. Oddly enough, this two-pronged device strategy is filling in a few gaps. Whether this quantified self-adventure continues remains to be seen, but Halo Band is providing enough insights for me to think that it'll stick around. The device, which was announced in August, also has the cost structure and features to be bundled into enterprise wellness programs. To really decide whether Halo is worth the cost with a free six-month subscription, but it's a month after that it's worth considering what the device isn't. Halo Band isn't a multi-purpose smartwatch that'll hit you with notifications. It doesn't have GPS. It doesn't cover multiple sports. And it doesn't compete with Apple Watch or Samsung's devices. Amazon's design modus operandi is to create products that are useful, but blend in to the point where you forget about them. Think Kindle and Echo and Alexa. You forget they are there. Amazon's Halo Band is a device that may give you some overall wellness data and delve into mindfulness a bit. Halo Band is also a promise from Amazon that a purchase will give you enough technology from the labs to keep you interested as well as solid content offerings. Based on how workouts are being built out, the nominal subscription may keep folks on board. Whether you remain interested in Halo Band or creeped out is going to be personal preference. Here's a look at a few of the moving parts with Halo Band and points to consider. And number one of this list. Fitbit Sense. The most ambitious smartwatch is not the Apple Watch 6 or the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, but rather the Fitbit Sense. That's because the Sense has not just an FDA-approved ECG sensor and blood oxygen reading, but the ability to measure electrodermal activity and skin temperature. The Apple Watch 6 does blood oxygen levels too, but Fitbit appears to be leading the evolution of smartwatches as they morph from devices that merely track our steps to devices that take a more holistic look at our health. As I found during my Fitbit Sense review, these new features are designed not to give you a sense of impending doom, but rather a better idea of how you're doing. That's why the Fitbit Sense is one of the best smartwatches you can buy. Made of stainless steel, the Sense is small and light, making it comfortable to wear both day and night. When placed next to the Versa 2, the Sense is roughly the same size, but has more rounded sides, it's a more circular squircle. The right side of the case has a small touch-sensitive solid-state sensor that acts as a button and causes the watch to buzz slightly when pressed. Compared to the Apple Watch 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, the Fitbit Sense is the most ambitious when it comes to new health features. The EDA and skin temperature sensor are unique to Fitbit and are meant to give you a better understanding of just how you're doing. 
It remains to be seen how useful these metrics are, but Fitbit deserves some credit for trying something new. I have included this product links in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share with your friends.